course. This is a full face makeup tutorial using just the Subtle Beauty stack. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm the founder and CEO of Subtle Beauty, and we make portable, stackable makeup for busy, badass people on the go. I say this all the time, but foundation is always an optional first step. I personally love the BB cream from Laura Mercier, but for the purposes of this video, I'm only going to be using the products in my stack. So the first product I'm going to get into is the Subtle Beauty Concealer and I'm in the shade Chartiers. This is a light to medium coverage concealer and what I love about this is that it has a very thin consistency so it makes it easier to spread and it covers a lot more like larger surface areas. Certainly much easier to spread than a traditional matte or high coverage concealer. So you'll see I'm actually using this more like a foundation which I often do with this concealer. That's the great thing about it. Okay so next I'm going to use the lip balm which is an optional step so delicious. This is actually our original lip balm, so it means that there's no added flavor, just a teensy little bit of sweetener, which makes this so good. With all of our lip balms, we use flavoring instead of fragrance, which is why with often a lot of other lip balms, it smells really good. When you apply it, it tastes kind of like fake. We actually use food grade flavor in all of our lip balms. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be using the Cream Lip and Cheek product, and I'm in the shade, of, I don't know if you can see it, mauve. I'm also going to be using the stippling brush from our four piece brush set to apply the lip and cheek. I know that a cream product can often be very intimidating. This makes it so much easier. I'm just going to stamp it in just enough to pick up a little bit of color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it onto the cheek in an upward direction like that. And I'm just going to then while I have it, stamp it up on this side, and then I'm gonna go back and then just in a sweeping upwards motion, blend it out. For a product like this, you can use any dense brush, but we put one in our four piece brush set so that it is really easy to take with you into travel. You see here, what this does is it just helps diffuse the product, which I know can be a common complaint when you're using just your fingers to apply. Okay, how are we looking, how are we looking? Pretty good. Next up on the docket, we're going to be jumping into some bronzer and then I'm using the shade Latte. Huh. I'm also going to be pulling another brush from our four piece brush set to apply this. I'm going to be using our more fluffy powder brush. Now, one thing about actually all of our powders is that they're very pigmented, so it does not take a lot and a little goes a long way. So I would suggest dipping in maybe once or twice. You don't have to do a ton of swirling because trust me, you're gonna get the color. What I like to do is just start slightly below my blush and then work my way around my face to frame my face. I have a very oval face and so when I'm using blush, I use it blush. <laughs> when I'm using bronzer, I blush, but when I'm using bronzer, I strategically place it so that my face appears shorter. Go under here and then I just drag it up and over. And you can see here on the other side as well. Same thing, I start low and I just drag it all the way up. I do not tan very naturally, so um, bronzer is always a non-negotiable in my makeup routine. However, all of our stacks are completely customizable, so if you aren't somebody who uses you know, bronzer in your everyday, you definitely don't have to um, add the bronzer to your stack at all, actually. But if you do like bronzer, we have five bronzer shades for you to choose from. Next up, I'm going to jump into the Shine Control Powder, and that's really just to set everything in place. I'm going to use the same brush because, quite honestly, there's not a lot left on there for my bronzer. And I do think using a separate brush for absolutely everything that you apply is a little bit overkill. And I think sometimes beauty brands just do that to get us to buy more. Speaking of multi-purpose products, I'm actually gonna grab my eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna dip into the same shine control powder and I'm going to use it on my lid to create a primer for eyeshadow. I have really dry skin, but for some reason my lids get incredibly oily. What the shine control powder does is two things. First, it helps soak up any of those oils that might be there currently, but it also helps your eyeshadow blend better. Have you ever dipped into eyeshadow and then you go to try and blend and it just like will not budge. That's because the eyeshadow, as soon as it hits any kind of oily skin, it immediately starts absorbing and then it becomes very difficult to use. So in having your shine control already soak up all that moisture, you're preventing your eyeshadow from having to do that. 
Okay, so you've already anticipated what I'm about to do next, which is the eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using the shade Jelly. Using the same brush that I just used to apply the Shine Control Powder, I'm going to hop into the matte shade, and remember what I said about it blending easier? It's gonna blend like a dream now that I have laid that Shine Control Powder down. A trick I learned is to not apply in the crease, which I feel like I've been doing my whole life. Everybody told me to apply in the crease. Apparently that's not what you're supposed to do. If you have hooded eyes, you want to apply above the crease and almost treat that like your crease. And then another tip I have is from the wonderful Pauline, who is often doing our tutorials. She said when you're going the window wiper sweepers, you want to make sure that you stop applying right at the sort of edge of where your eyebrow finishes. And that's gonna help create a more lifted look instead of dragging your eyes down. Particularly important if you have downturned eyes, which, hey, hi, how are you? I do. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take this other end and then just diffuse the edges up here. See, they're just like a little bit harsh right now. So I had no product on this. I'm just gonna go back and forth and just sort of really blend out the edges so that it looks just a little bit more natural. What I love about the jelly shade is that it really does just give a very natural finish for my particular skin tone. So I have the matte shade on and then I'm gonna hop into the shimmer shade with my little pinky finger. Let's see here. And then I'm just going to gently tap that onto my lid, trying to concentrate in that in the corner and then work my way out. Placement here really depends on your eye shape. Some people will like to do the full lid to each their own though. There's no bad way. I'll give a little close up so you can see. I'm also going to add a little bit of the shimmer to the tip of my nose, cute and sassy highlight. And of course, last but not least is a little bit of lip and cheek on the lip. And that's it. Head on over to subtlebeauty.com to build your own custom subtle beauty stack.